nectar in that lake. And you're still free. I, I, I don't like swimming or I can't see who I'm swimming with. You are swimming with me. Free? It's dark. You don't have to be scared of me. Why would you think that I'm scared of you? I don't know. The champagne incident, maybe? No, you just you just sent a clear message. No, I freeze. Look, we're way past that. Are we? Yeah. Totally. I still look like my sister. Yeah, and I've gotten very clear about who you are, Maggie. Yeah, but now you wouldn't touch me with a ten foot pole. What are you talking about? Come on, you swam away from me every single time I bumped into you. I told you, I I was scared of the monster of Blue Lake. The way you keep on pushing me out of your life and into Timmy Dillon. You are making too much of that, Maggie. I mean, you're the one who said that you don't need my help with it. Or how about every single time Tim and I are in the neighborhood, you seem to disappear. Why are we even talking about this? Because I like you. really fun, but I, I have to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning. I still don't know what I'm wearing. I'm sorry I made the femme comment before, okay? I think you're very pretty and very feminine. And, and very gay. Look, when Frankie and I were little, you know, she was tough. She was gutsy, very tomboyish. I never thought what it meant. I thought maybe she was exploring. Or probably didn't mean anything. And she wasn't just exploring. I know. I, I'm just looking at things differently, you know? I don't think that people really fit in the boxes that we make for them, do they? When I was little, my mother loved how girly I was. I mean, I played with dolls. I love dress up. I, I never got dirty. It's probably one of the reasons that she had such a hard time accepting the fact that I was gay. I mean, I like sports about as much as she did, which is to say, not at all. Oh, and do, how did you know? How did I know what? That you were gay. Is this too personal? Because, no, no, it's, it's not. It's... Okay. So, you liked dresses and frilly things and then... Masculine and feminine personality traits don't determine sexual orientation. <laughs> that sounds like you read it out of a book. Well, yeah, but it uh, also has been my experience. Look, I never got to talk about this with Frankie. Me neither. Well, how does she know? I don't know if she ever knew totally. It's just that something happened and we let it. Even though Frankie's gone, I just want to understand. Why? To feel close to her. I know the feeling. And tell me. How did you know? <laughs> how did you? How did I know what? That you were straight. Oh, that's not fair. That's another question, not an answer. Okay, well, when I was 12 or 13, I, I realized that the way I felt for girls was different from the way I felt for boys. I don't, it was a lot of things. My friends, when they were all raging for Pearl Jam, I was nuts about the Spice Girls. I mean, nuts, Maggie. So were a lot of girls. Yeah, and most of them wanted to be the Spice Girls. I wanted to marry them. Oh, got it. I mean, eventually, I realized that I had all the usual teenage feelings. I just had them for girls instead of boys. But how did you know it was a real phase? Because it didn't pass like my Jones for a tattoo. I'm sorry. I didn't know who I am. Who I want is as much a part of me as my brown eyes. I get it. I really do. Do you? 
I just, I feel like I'm under the white light here. Oh, so I just care about health. You know, I, I don't totally have to be in bed and right now. I just totally freaked you out. No, I, I don't mind talking about this. I don't. Except with me. No, it's, it's just, you, you do. You, you look just like her. Maggie, and it's, it's still hard. stopping by. It was really just what I needed. Even a midnight swim and scary Willow Lake. <laughs> I just needed a friend to reassure me. Reassure you of what? That I can do tomorrow. That I've pulled off a lot tougher gigs than enchantment. <laughs> well, Frankie would have been really proud of you. Frankie would have hurled. She would have said that I was crazy to work for my mother, and then she would have laughed in my face. No, no, I don't think so. I think Frankie would have, I think she would have dug how, you know, you don't let anything define you or limit you. Well, I learned that trick from her. You go, and you go knock their mascara off tomorrow, okay? You know, whatever I wear, I'm still going to be me. I know that. I see it whenever I look at you. Good night.